All right, gonna try something new here on the program. It is going to be non-alcoholic beers. I got a few of them. Um, so I might do one or two tonight, one or two tomorrow, that kind of thing. I don't know if I'll get them all tonight because that's gonna be a lot of liquid in my uh, in my system. And if I'm like sober and just full of liquid before bed, that, is, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, it's kind of a brief preview of some stuff I got here. Uh, I got singles of each of these from Total Wine, with the exception of the O'Doul's I get a six pack of because they didn't have a single of it. So, um, yeah, why the non-alcoholic beer? Basically, I'm just going to take a couple weeks off, kind of clear the head, tighten up the old belt buckle. Um, that That's really it. I'm not like quitting, quitting the hard stuff or anything like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting older now. And, you know, years ago, I, I would have laughed at somebody drinking this. Um, but here I am, you know. So as far as this one in particular to start things off, which other than I think a sip of uh, a Sam Adams non-alcoholic once, like a like a baby sip at one point, this can be my first like true experience with a non-alcoholic beer. So O'Doul's comes in at less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. A six pack will run you about $8.99. So I think it was $7.99 at, when I was actually there. And a 12 pack will run you $12.99. And this is from the evil empire of AB and Bev, as you can see from the logo there. Uh, golden non alcoholic brew. I mentioned it has, it has less than 5%, um, less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. And. Let's see. A Doyle starts as a fine premium Anheuser-Busch beer, full brewed, using only the finest ingredients, fully fermented and cold aged, resulting in a refreshing, flavorful golden brew that finishes smooth. All right, I think we've talked enough. Let's get down into it, shall we? And this one better be good, because... Um, I got a bunch more of it. And it is a uh, twist off, so you don't need one of these. But I, I like the theatrics, you know. So yeah, this is this is something new. Certainly looks like a beer in the good lights. Beautiful golden color. Carbonation is a little on the weak side. Um, okay amount of head. I don't know. Yeah, the carbonation, it's 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 not terrible. But it's 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 definitely on the weaker side. You can tell it's gonna run out really soon. Okay, on the nose. It smells like a beer, it really does. Um Smells like, yeah, smells like a Budweiser. And as you can see, the head is pretty much gone. All right, here we go. Oh. A couple more here. That's not bad at all. I was I was wondering or I was kind of scared that O'Doul's would um, be like funky tasting or something, but um, no, this this straight up tastes like a beer to me. There's no, it doesn't taste like you know <laughs> a flavored seltzer water or.
or anything like that. It's it's more flavorful than a um, than a Michelob Ultra. I prefer this over Michelob Ultra. I like it. <laughs> now it is kind of flat already, so so that stinks. But um, as you would expect, it goes down pretty easily. Um, but at the same time, like it's not just just straight water. And I know you're supposed to like rate these beers in in the style, you know, like oh, how does this one in in the sours compare to other sours? This one and stouts other stouts all that kind of stuff i mostly just do for me like what do i think about the beer <sighs> and uh i'm i'm really impressed with it maybe it's because it's my first time <clears throat> with a non-alcoholic beer but If I'm looking for a, a, a night just to have a beer or something with, with dinner or whatever, then uh, without, you know, the next day hassle, I'd give this one again. Oh, duels. Non-alcoholic beer. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a four out of five.